Prince Charles enjoyed a dram of whiskey as he sported a kilt during a trip to Aberdeen today. The Prince of Wales, 72, known as the Duke of Rothesay in Scotland, visited Amity Fish Company Limited in Peterhead and Glengarriach in Old Mimeldrum, one of the country's oldest distilleries. Today the royal was without his wife, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, who he lives with at Clarence House in London. Wearing a red and green kilt and a tweed three-piece jacket, the dew wrapped up for the Scottish autumn clutching on to an umbrella, while in traditional Scottish dress. He also met one of the stars of the BBC's series Trawlerman during a visit to an award-winning seafood company in Aberdeenshire. The company is headed by renowned skipper Jimmy Butchen, who starred in the BAFTA award-winning series. Mr. Butchen said, We were proud to host a walkthrough of our supply chain operations, where we explained our desire to improve on our sustainability footprint and how we are working to improve the integrity of our products during transit to customers. Charles also learned about the challenges to the business from COVID-19 and lockdown. On Tuesday, Charles also visited Rora Dairy which produces a range of Scottish yogurts on an organic family-run farm near Peterhead. Bruce and Jane Mackey welcomed him to their farm, which has been selected to supply November's COP26 Climate Change Conference in Glasgow. Mrs Mackey said, This year has been tremendously exciting for us all at Rora and we were delighted to welcome Prince Charles to the farm, to show him the results of our work, to improve biodiversity and sustainability here. Our organic certification and selection for COP26 is recognition of our efforts, and, like so many of our customers, we really feel that the prince, who is a farmer himself, understood and appreciated this. Glengarriach in Old Muldrum, one of the country's oldest distilleries, is also welcoming Charles during his royal tour in the northeast. It is being renovated and upgraded following a £6 million investment from American drinks company Beam Santuri to reinstate more traditional production processes and reduce the distillery's carbon footprint. The Duke of Rothesay's tour also includes a visit to Inverary, where he will meet with traders at the town's farmers' market and visit the Garage Heritage Centre home to collections highlighting the history of the area. Charles will also meet with the Inverary Community Allotment and representatives from Grampian Opportunities, an organization which promotes learning, volunteering, and employment opportunities, and offers support for disabled people and people with mental health problems. There are a lot of mixed opinions that commented. So what do you think about this? Please leave a comment below the video to give your opinion for us to listen to. What do you think about this information? Please leave a comment below this video. Subscribe to our channel to update many new and important news.